In this video, we will physically connect LEDs, in my case, WS2812B to our Arduino. We will take a look at what you need to change in your Botango model of your animated droid for the lights to be turned on and off. And we will take a look into the changes that need to be applied to the source code of the Botango driver so that the model's actions really start working with the LEDs. As you can see here on the picture, I only used a short strip of four WS2812B LEDs and I soldered the required three wires to the LED strip. If you do this, always make sure that you're wiring to the correct side. It's usually depicted with arrows showing where the beginning of the LED strip is. Connecting the wires to the power source and to the Arduino is pretty straightforward. Connect the five volt cable of the LED with the five volt power source here with the, the breadboard. Then connect the DIN cable, that's in my case the middle one, that's the one where the LED strip gets the signal and information from, with pin 7 of the Arduino board. You can use any other pin, but then you will have to change the source code. And last but not least, you connect the ground cable of the LED strip with the ground of the power source here again on my breadboard. And this is actually all you need to do to physically connect the LED strip. Now that we have the LED strip physically connected, we need to enhance our Botango model. The LED will be a child of our head base. So you select that and then you add create a new part. It's a custom event on off part that you add. We will name or give it the identifier LED. This is important for later on. And we can select to have it automatically become active when the model is loaded. That's all that needs to be done on the model part to turn our LED strip on and off. Now we have to add it to the animation. So we add a new track to our existing animation. And this is a custom event. We have to select which custom event part is aligned to this track. And now like we did before for the servos, we can add markers in time and the actions. So at one second, we want the LEDs to turn on. And after or at four seconds, we want the LED to turn off. And this is all that needs to happen on our model. Let's uh, jump our time marker back to the beginning of our timeline and press the play button. Not completely unexpected, we see our servos moving but nothing happening with the LED. And the simple reason for that is we didn't tell Botango, especially the Botango driver that runs on the Arduino, what to do. So in the next step, we will have to go back into our source code and do a little few changes there. I'm now back in the development environment, Arduino IDE, and I have the Botengo Arduino driver sketch file open. That's the same that we used in previous videos to prepare the Arduino Uno for the communication with Botengo. To be able to do the needed source code changes, we have to add an additional library to our Arduino IDE. So you have to go into the library manager and look for the Adafruit 
NeoPixel library and install it. With the library installed, you will have to go and open the file Botengo Arduino callback.cpp. At the beginning of this C++ file, you will have to add a few lines of code. Starting with the include statement that includes everything that is needed for the Adafruit NeoPixel programming. Then here in line 10 and 11, the definition of LED pin and numlets. LED pin is the number of the pin that you connected the data cable on your Arduino onto. In my case, it is pin seven. And num LEDs is the number of LEDs that you want to work with. And in my case, those were four LEDs. In line 15, you find the instantiation of the Adafruit NeoPixel object. Um, I would just recommend you to, if you're not experienced with uh, programming, to copy the line exactly as I have shown it here. But don't worry, you don't have to uh, write it off the screen. In the description of this video, I will paste the code snippets that you can copy and paste by yourself. Now you have to scroll down all the way until you find the function called void on on off custom event on off changed. You have to change the source code from whatever is written in there to what I show you here on the screen, but again, it will be a code snippet in this video's description. So let me quickly run through what is happening here for those that are unexperienced with software development. Uh, the main part is the section in between the if string compare effector identifier LED if you remember, we called our custom part in the Botengo model, we gave that the identifier LED. So whenever the this function, the on-off custom event, on-off changed has, is called by Botengo, we will first look if our custom part identified by the identifier LED is called. If so, there's still a line in here that I used for debugging where I print out a statement, but you can ignore this line. But we will start our LED strip with pixel begin. We will look if the information that Botengo sent was turn it on or turn it off. If it is turn it on, we will call pixels.fill. With pixels.color, we will tell the uh, pixel strip what color to use. It's in RGB values. We we'll start with LED number zero, which is the first in our line. And we're asking him to fill that color for number LEDs count. And that was four that we defined at the beginning of the file. If the signal that we received was not on, then it was off. We just call pixel.clear, which clears all LEDs, so turns them off. To activate or to send the real values to the LED strip, we call pixels.show. And that's uh, in quotes all you have to do to have your LEDs turn on and off based by the model that we have uh, developed. All that's left to do is compile the new software version of our driver code and upload it onto our Arduino. And I assume that you have your Arduino connected to your computer and that you told Arduino IDE uh, which port you have and on what port it is connected. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, take a look at my first video of this series where I walk through the general uploading and building of the Tango driver code for Arduino. Now stop your Arduino IDE, go back into Botengo, into our model of the pit droid, 
make sure that hardware on the top right hand corner is green. If not, click on it and activate the different hardware parts. And when you run the animation now, then uh, our LEDs will behave exactly as we planned. This concludes this video and I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up just as feedback for me and the work that I'm putting in, in creating these videos. And if you don't want to miss any new releases, please also hit subscribe. I have no intention of making money out of these videos. If for whatever reason they should still get monetized, all profits that I will make out of these videos will be donated to an official charity organization. See you at the next video.